Hello there, this is Wasinator. I'll be showing you guys today how to mount custom textures using Source Multi Tool. I apologize up front for the heavy breathing from my dog who's having a panic attack. Anyway, let's get down to this. So, the first thing you want to do is boot up Source Multi Tool, as I've done right here on the screen. Next, what you're going to want to do is hit Set Up Custom Config. Next, click the Open Custom Asset folder. This is where you'll be putting all of your custom textures, models, things like that. So let's go grab a custom texture really quick. So here on Top Hat Waffle site, we're going to go to Downloads. And then we're going to download this Mario Texture Pack really quick. Once that's downloaded, we're going to open it up. Let me move this out of the way here for you. Now, in our custom folder, we're going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this, uh, let's just call it Mario Textures. Inside this folder, we're going to want to put a Materials folder. Now, we're going to drag over this folder over here. And when you're doing that, you want to make sure that this the main folder that you drag over isn't already have a materials folder inside of it. Because that's it breaks the whole directory. Anyway, as you can see, we have that in there now. And if you had models, you would put you would make a models folder here and put the models in there. It, this part right here acts exactly like a source engine mod or game. So if you're familiar with installing custom textures for Counter-Strike Source or Team Fortress 2, think of this as the Counter-Strike Source folder or the Team Fortress 2 folder, and these are the materials and model folders that are located inside of there. It sounds really confusing on paper, but once you do it once or twice, you kind of get the hang of it. So now we have the Mario textures in there, let's quickly set up a custom config. I'm going to save the config. And note, you don't have to save the config every single time you add more custom textures or things like that. You can actually just navigate to the custom config folder under source SDK base 2013. And then you just double click custom config, custom, and it brings you to the folder. So now from the drop down, we choose custom config. And we launch hammer. You can ignore these lines right here that's left over from the half life 2 GD that Valve never fixed apparently. Click the start a new map, open it up, filter for Mario, and voila, we got our Mario textures. And it's as simple as that. Now keep in mind that when you compile your map in custom config, that it's, and then run the map, you have to make sure the custom textures and models are also installed in that game or mods folder as well. So if I were to compile, like make a room really quick and compile it, I would need to make sure the Mario textures were also installed in Gary's mod so that I could see them in Gary's mod. Otherwise, you're going to have the missing pink and black textures. Alright, so let's show you now that you know that way. Let's show you how to use the VPKs. So VPKs are Valve's new like zip file kind of thing. They're pretty handy for just packing everything together really quick so you don't have to deal with loose folders and it makes everything really nice and neat. And if you distribute any kind of source mod, you want to use VBKs and not loose materials or models or anything. It makes it a lot faster in the loading from my understanding of it. So what we can do is go to the VPK creator. So 
So this is Victor, and if you feed Victor a folder that's set up at, like in the custom folder, he'll spit out a VPK for you. Make sure that you're selecting Source SDK Base 2013 Multiplayer if you have that installed. You want to make sure you choose one that you have it installed for. Size per part. This is only, what, four, four megabytes, so higher megabytes per pack is fine. Anyway, just drag it on there. Ah, so feeling! <laughs> anyway, you hear the heavy. That's how you know it's done. So you can see that we have the Mario's Textures 00.bbk in the directory. You need to distribute both. There are options, if you, if you compile the VPK through the command line, you can do it so you don't have the directory, I believe. But I prefer to have the directory because usually I, such as with the real, such as with Top Hat's real world, world textures, you have multiple parts, and so you need that directory. And so now I can just delete the Mario textures folder. There's Victor out there. Be sure to read that. I'm. I would not believe the amount of times people don't read that. Jesus. Search for Mario, and there they are. Still there. And there you have it. That's how you, uh, that's how you mount custom textures in Source Multitool. Have fun mapping.